Yo, it's Bogue. Welcome back to the Beyond the Wormhole series and Kerbal Space Program. Today we're taking this orbital space station shipyard that I built using the stock alike station parts expansion redux mod um, into orbit. So we're going to have to split it up into several different launches. This is kind of like the uh, first launch. Um, I've got these two like canopy modules here. I think I'm calling this the control tower, but I'm just starting my gravity turn here for the first launch. Um, but yeah, this space station, I'm going to be using it to construct my black hole expeditionary craft um, that's going to be utilizing the Far Future Technologies mod by Nertea to um, do our final voyage down to the uh, local black hole system in the Cacao Below uh, Planet Pack mod. And so yeah, this space station is going to be um, kind of like an orbital space station where we can... Um, kind of like construct the different modules to build this um, far future like fusion spacecraft uh, but yeah it's gonna be cool and so this is the second launch this is the habitation like centrifuge rings here um, just breaking through the lower atmosphere starting that gravity turn this one's a little bit finicky I don't know for some reason but as far as the other rockets go for the different modules of the space station it's not too bad You'll see in a bit some of the other rockets get a little out of hand. Um, but yeah, we're just breaking through the atmosphere and starting to um, do our circularizing burn. Um, and then after that, we're going to have to uh, set up a rendezvous with our um, control tower that's already in orbit. And we'll just be able to dock to that once we get that set up. But right now, I'm just finishing up that orbit and I'll let you guys watch for a second. All right, now it's time to do a quick kind of like inclination match burn at one of the ascending or descending nodes so that we can get on the same orbital plane and then just kind of like play around with the prograde retrograde maneuver till we get some of these close encounter markers right on top of each other with a relatively close separation. Then that's our flyby. And then all we have to do at that point is wait till we drift towards it and then kill off all of our relative speed by burning retrograde to target on the nav ball and then um, kind of just like rinsing rep and repeating, like burning towards it and then killing off your speed until you're right on top of it and then you can go ahead and start the docking uh, maneuver. So we should be fairly close. There it is in the distance. And we just killed off our relative speed. Now it's time to use the RCS here to get this thing docked to the control tower. All right, we got it docked. Now it's time to just play around with these docking port alignments to make sure that it's kind of like aligned correctly. Okay, this is my third launch. This is the science module and habitation dome, uh, which has like the crew cabins and stuff. It's a really cool part um, from these stock alike station parts expansion redux mod, um, which is, uh, I'm using a lot of parts from that mod here like if you see a part here that's not stock it's from this mod from uh, I forget who made it um, but it's basically an expansion to the part set of the game that adds like extra parts specifically for space stations which I highly recommend it's really great um, first off just finishing my circularization um, now I'm setting up another inclination match burn this episode is going to be a lot of orbital you know shenanigans but yeah wait until I get a close encounter and uh, should be coming up on it here there it is in the distance and I'll just burn towards it we're probably a few kilometers out all right then kill off our speed point towards it All right, now we've uh, killed off our speed relative to our target, and we'll just set these um, docking ports to align to each other. It's kind of like an easier way to get these things to dock. And I'll use the RCS to like translate over to we can get that docked. All right, looks like we're docked. I'm actually gonna transfer some more RCS into the space station from my leftover tanks here on the on like the upper stage 
And I'm just messing with the alignment once again, just to make sure this thing's all like upright and centered. Cool, looks good. All right, now it's time to uh, load this monstrosity of a rocket onto the launch pad. This is the kind of like the dockyard for the um, orbital shipyard. This is like where the uh, inter the interplanetary craft will dock inside of. It'll it'll dock inside of this kind of like shield, um, the dockyard, I guess you could say. Um, I also have some parts for um, like cargo on the side as well as some fuel tanks. Um, they're empty because I'm kind of using them as kind of decoration right now or just for aesthetics. But yeah, this is really cool. I loved how this rocket, I mean, not how this rocket, but how this module turned out. The rocket is another story. It took so long for me to be able to get this thing um, in orbit or to, to find a way to get it into orbit in general, I guess. Um, the aerodynamics are terrible. So we had to take a really, really steep gravity turn so that we could um, kind of just point straight up until most of the atmosphere was behind us and then um, we could handle the like the rough aerodynamic profile of this craft a little bit easier but now I'm just working on that um, close encounter here for our rendezvous and coming up to kill off our relative speed and pointing towards the target and there it is oh kind of overshot it just a bit all right cool now we're close by we can set up that docking alignment and get this thing docked we'll set the docking ports to align to each other to make this easier all right looks like we're docked those uh, docking alignment ports are kind of going weird though so I'm gonna have to realign those and lock it into place and yeah that's the station guys I'm calling it the KSS Rivendell orbital shipyard space station kind of like a little Lord of the Rings reference there because um, like in the fellowship of the ring like in the book like they stop at Rivendell but they stay there for like a month or two like they're just chilling you know like they're they they're just it's basically just like <laughs> um, some sort of vacation home for them they just take a break from their mission for like weeks on end so I guess that's kind of what this space station is going to be doing um, kind of like a rest stop or like to house our crew and build the sh build our like interstellar um, fusion craft right now I'm just building a quick kind of like crew pod that I'm going to be sending my Kerbals up to the station with this crew pod here is actually from a mod 2 um, it's either from the stock Lake station parts expansion redux mod or the near future mod or the near future parts mod I mean um, yeah, but it has a crew capacity of seven. Um, so we've got that loaded up with a bunch of Kerbals here and we're just, um, going to be using this little, um, crew pod to crew up the space station and get it operational. So right now I'm just working on getting into orbit. Then we will do kind of like the typical procedure. We'll match our inclination and set up a rendezvous and we should be golden. All right, looks like we've got a close encounter here. Now warp ahead until we've uh, kind of starting to get closer. We'll kill off our relative speed. There it is in the distance. You can see it kind of lit up. So I'll burn towards it and kill off our speed again. And then we'll use the RCS to uh, pilot this thing over to one of the extendable crew corridors that I'm going to be using as a docking port. So this particular part here, it extends, which is really, really helpful, but it actually acts as kind of like a grabbing arm. So you don't actually, it doesn't actually have a docking port on one side of it, but you can still dock to it because it has a kind of like a grabber function, just like 
the stock kind of like advanced grabbing unit or whatever. This is the interior of the crew pod, pretty cool. All right, we're docked. Now it's time to inflate the centrifuges and get those spun up to uh, 0.5 G, I think. Let's flip this thing around actually. But yeah, here's the space station guys, all crewed up. Looking good. Let's go on a spacewalk to check out this uh, dockyard here. Yeah, so this is like where the um, kind of like the fusion craft is going to be sitting inside. There's another extendable arm that um, extends from the science module that will dock with the, um, the fusion craft. And it'll sit right in the middle of that. Pretty cool. All right, you guys, so I finally downloaded free IVA and got that installed. So we can go, we can move around inside the interior of these parts. So this is the interior of the crew uh, pod here. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Let me try to go through the uh, exit hatch here. But it's actually blocked or I guess I don't have an airlock or whatever. I'm so used to building these space stations kind of like with um, like makeshift parts, you know, like with the stock parts, you kind of just have to like make things look good, but there's not a whole lot of station parts that are like dedicated for that. So you end up kind of building it just for looks. And so I'm so used to that, that I built these parts in a way that sometimes they don't actually connect to each other. Like here we're in the station core airlock and this connects the two like wings of the space station but I accidentally connected two parts here that don't actually even have an entrance as you can see. So on my next space station with free IVA, I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, here, let me, let's check out the space, uh, the, the space science module here. It's pretty cool. I really like that there's this window here. You can see the uh, crew pod docked right outside. That's really awesome. Anyway, we have just our like science computers and all that. And then up here, are some workstations, some really cool rooms here. This one's got like a microscope and a window here. I mean, they, I think they all have windows, but the views out the windows are really awesome. This one's like another computer room. Another computer room, I think one thing that a lot of these rooms have in common is computers, but you can see kind of like the centrifuges spinning out there. That's pretty cool. And then up here is um, another kind of set of rooms. It's like a little greenhouse there. You can see the uh, shipyard just outside the window. And this room has got like a chalkboard and a clipboard and one of our other curvals here already. We got something blocking the window though. You can see the sun, pretty cool. This is just a storage room, I think. And this is one of my favorite rooms. It's the poster room. So we've got these really cool like tourism posters of like, uh, Duna, Jewel, and Slate, which is a kind of like deserty moon from the Outer Planets mod, which orbits kind of like the stock alike analog of Saturn, which is pretty cool. That's the that's the gas giant that the black hole, not the black hole, the wormhole orbits that connects to the Kakavalo system that I've been exploring recently. Let's check out the habitation dome here, where all the crew cabins are. All right. So these are pretty cool. They have like really cool, like, oh, like I have this bug here, I don't know if you guys know about this, but sometimes like when I'm in the uh, inside the parts here with free IVA, like the controls of my Kerbal actually end up turning the station as well. 
and uh, it kind of means that like I float around. You see how it's like spinning outside? Like the ship is spinning, but it's not supposed to be. Um, so it kind of creates these weird effects where like I'm drifting through the rooms here. Anyways, sometimes it works, it seems, and sometimes it has this little thing. I don't know how to avoid it. If any of you guys know how to avoid it, please let me know. But yeah, I guess I'll just have to work through it here in this corridor here. So this is like the um, the dome, like crew cabin habitation unit. So we got all, all our different like bunk beds here. Um, some really cool window views of the space station. They all have that really cool like 2000s arcade carpet type beat. Anyway, you can go outside here and we're in this giant glass dome. And then there's kind of like a little nice observation deck up here with some lawn chairs set up. Really cool views up here of the, uh, of Kerbin and, uh, or I guess any planet that this thing is orbiting. You can see the whole space station from up here. It's pretty cool. And then this is like the, the little lounge area. Cool. I guess somehow that thing ended up sideways from the bug there. But this is the dorsal canopy. So on the top of the space station, we've got these like these nice little view or I guess observation canopies here where you can float around. It's windows all around and you can see the whole space station. There's the uh, shipyard right over there. Um, and then we also have another one on the underside of this control tower here. So if you go through um, these hatches here. Um, you can go to the other one. There's actually another set of workstations here, but it's the exact same as the other one So I'll just Fast forward till we're at the ventral canopy. This one's really cool because you can see the docked crew pod just outside and you can see um, The shipyard from below so imagine like a giant fusion craft in that shipyard um, Just looking up at it. Okay, here are the centrifuges um, So they have actually kind of like gravity in here because they're spinning right? Not real gravity, but it's like the centrifugal force or whatever as it spins, kind of like pulls you down towards the outer edge. Um, anyway, we've got some cool like little computers set up here. This is where uh, the Kerbals can enjoy kind of like some semblance of Kerbin gravity because the rest of the space station is in weightlessness. I guess you would just be floating around, you know? But yeah, here's a little tour. You can go up kind of like the uh, arm of it, and then you're kind of back in uh, zero gravity again. And then you can connect, this connects to the other um, arm too. It's kind of dark here though. We have two centrif centrifuges. Um, but yeah, here's the second one here. It's exactly the same though. Anyway, you go down this arm, and then you're back in uh, some sort of gravity here. But yeah, I guess that's the tour, guys. Um, that's about it for today's video. Um, yeah, just setting up this uh, orbital shipyard space station here with um, some really cool parts from the stock-alike station parts expansion redux for Kerbal Space Program. This is like a, like a mini review, I guess. You guys can see the interiors as well with the mod Free IVA, which allows you to like float around the interior of your spacecraft, adding another really fun like level of immersion here to the game. So yeah, guys, in the next episode, I'll be starting the construction of my black hole expeditionary craft using the shipyard. We'll be using it to explore the planets around the black hole at the center of the Kekalbalo system. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.